Okay, so we have looked at uh, uh, factoring a uh, common factors. So here we're going to just do a few examples. Okay, so I'm going to show you actually just a quicker way of doing it. It is uh, still the same idea, but doing most of the equation, the calculations in my head. And the way I just do it is I just ask what number, what's the greatest number that can divide all of the constants? So for example, 24, 6 and 12, I'll start with the smallest one because I can't choose anything bigger than that. So 6 can divide itself, 6 can divide into 12, 6 can divide into 24. So 6 is a common factor. Okay. Then I look at the next one, x to the power of 3. What is the most number of x's I can take from each factor? And here's there's only one factor. So I can't take more than one. Can I take one from all the others? Yes, I can take one from each. So 6x can be taken from each. And then I simply divide each term with 6x to see what is remaining. Okay, so here I've got my... Uh, one of the x's cancel with one of those x's and the 6 divides into 24 four times. So this is 4 instead of being 3 x's left one was taken so there's 2 left. The next one is plus x. Okay, Why? Because 6 divides into 6 once so there's a 1 and of the 2 x's one was divided away so 1 is remaining. And finally, for the last one, is negative 12 is divided by 6. 6 divides into it two times, so it's negative 2, and the two x's divide into each other to give me times 1. So there's just 1 left there. And there I factorized this expression uh, perfectly. Okay, next one. In this one, we is actually a, a challenging one. Look at this one. Here, I how many terms do I have, first of all? Well, here's one term, and there's another term. Okay, Which factors do these terms have in common? Now, here you'll notice I have a whole bracket in common. I don't just have a single frac uh, factor in common. I've got, oh, it is one factor, I mean, but um, it is a whole bracket factor. So I can take out the whole bracket as a common factor. So 15 y minus 3. Now 15 y minus 3 can be taken out as a common factor and what is remaining is 15 y as my first term because this one was divided away and then negative 3 for the second term. And look what we have is we actually have the opposite of the distribution of two di uh, binomials. Okay, so we can still distribute this if we were simplifying and then get a single expression or a, uh, uh, an expression with three terms in the end. But here, another way of writing this, if I wanted to, is I can write it as 15y minus 3 squared because I'm multiplying a, a factor by itself. So I can just write it as square. Okay, next one in this one. Okay, let's see, do I have common factors? I've got a 2 and a 2, but these don't have 2s. I've got an A and an A, but these two don't have As. I've got a B, this one doesn't have a B, that one has a B, and uh, nothing else. Okay, this one has a C and a C. So I actually have no common factors in all of the terms. Now here, once you see that, you might think to yourself, okay, well, let's then group them. Let me take these two together and take a common factor out of them, and those two together and get a common factor out of them and then I'll get something like this okay so let's see from these two I have 2a is the greatest common factor in both of those so 2a gets taken out and what am I left with if I take away the 2a and replace it with 1 I'm left with b minus c so I'm left with b minus c in this one, my common factor is just the 3. So I have plus 3, and I'm left with b minus c. Now here again, we find something similar to what we had before. Okay, Before we had that we now have a whole bracket in common as my common factor. So I take out the b minus c as a common factor. Okay, And what am I left with? Well, take it away and replace it with 1. So I'm left with 2a plus 3. And there I factorize this. So this expression can be written as the product of two 
factors, these two factors, if I multiply these two brackets out, I'll get that expression. That's brilliant, don't you think? I, I enjoy factoring. Okay, next one. This one uh, seems like this might be a similar one because that one doesn't have an x. It only has a 3. So the greatest thing I can take out from all of them is a 3. And 3 is not a factor of 4 nor of 2. Okay, so it's it's not going to work but again I see that I've got 4x squared minus 2x so again if I group this one and that one together I can take out a common factor for each so for this one the greatest common factor I can take out for the first two terms is 2x 2 and 1x so 4 divided by 2 leaves me with 2 x the square divided by x leaves me with x then since I took it took out 2x I I replace that with 1, so that's a negative 1. In this one, uh, let me just change this one. I made a mistake when I wrote down the question. That one should be a 6. Okay, so for this one, when I, I can take a 3 out of both of those. So if I take a 3, I get plus 3. And then here I'm left with 1 minus 2x. Now again, we see, oh brilliant, we've got two terms, two factors that's exactly the same. Whoa, they're not exactly the same. We've got a little bit of a problem. This one is 2x minus 1, and that is 1 minus 2x. Now remember, this is something we learned before, but I can swap around. Remember, something like 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. But 3 minus 2 is equal to plus 1. So I am allowed to swap around two terms as long as I change the sign in front of them. The value remains the same but the sign must change. At this stage it is positive. So when I swap them around, so in my next step I'll have 2x, I'll keep this one the same, 2x minus 1 and for that one I'll swap it around, sorry, no bracket, then this plus must become a negative 3 and then 2x minus 1. Okay, so I change the sign, the value of it inside. Okay, so now I see, great, I've got common factor brackets. So I take that common factor bracket out and I'm left with 2x minus 3. So here is my final expression, 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 3. And that's it. I just remembered something here though. I want to show you here. If they ask me to completely factorize, I want you to notice that there's still a factor I can take out from 15 and from 3. And that's the factor 3. So this first bracket can also be written as 3 times. Now, if I take out a 3, I'm left with 5y minus 1. Okay. Now, the same goes for this one. This one can also be written as 3 and 5y minus 1. 3. So in the end, if I just write it so that the uh, coefficients are written twice, this becomes 3 squared times 5y minus 1 squared. And that would be the completely factorizing that expression. Now, if, if I got to this point and I only recognized it here, I can write this as uh, inside here. So remember, uh, or I'll show you that in just now. So if I take out a 3, I have 3 and then 5y minus uh, 1. Okay, I changed this one is wrong. It's 5y minus 1. 5y minus 1 and the whole thing is squared. So both the 3 is squared and the 5y minus 1 is squared. So th this is 3 squared times 5y minus 1 squared. If you didn't get this just yet, that's okay. More about exponential uh, laws a little bit later on. But it is important that you notice that you can't take out a common factor in a bracket that is being squared without also squaring the factor. So look, the 3 was taken out as a common factor, but because the whole bracket was squared, the common factor also has to be squared. Okay, so I, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and saw that this was actually quite a very simple topic. See you in the next video.